so in this section we're going to talk about X-Pens. While I've been breeding and owning dogs for over 50 years, in the last 20 years we've started to use X-Pens and every time we get a new puppy we see new advantages to using an X-Pen versus dog crates and we still use dog crates uh, or outside dog kennels. With the X-Pens they can be in the house, we have we have our X-Pens sitting off to the side in the living room. We have another large X-Pen that we've fastened like three X-Pens together on the deck or the porch of our house, which is right next to where we sit outside in the summer months and work on our computer. The puppy can be in the X-Pen with the toys and he can be busy and we can make sure that he doesn't climb out. If you're going to use an X-Pen, and we highly recommend it, the younger you start, the better. It can be difficult to take an older dog and teach them to stay into an X-Pen. It can also be almost impossible to teach a puppy to stay in an X-Pen if you've left and that puppy climbed out of the X-Pen. So the rule on using an X-Pen is if, you have to, if you're sitting with the puppy and the phone rings and you have to go in the other room, you take the puppy and put it in the crate or put a leash with it and take it with you. If you have to go to the bathroom, put a leash with it, take it with you, or put it in the dog crate. But if you leave a puppy in an X-Pen and it climbs out one time, you will never get that puppy to reliably stay in an X-Pen when it's an adult dog. But our older dogs, they've gone through the ritual. We've never let them climb out of an X-Pen. When a little puppy starts to climb out, we just poke the X-Pen, or give the tap on the X-Pen so that it's not fun. They don't want to do that and they stay in. We make sure that they have enough toys in there to keep them busy. We also will take our like our our bones, uh, our big round knuckle bones that we get from the butcher that are about that long and we pack them with food and we freeze them. And we have some of the little rubber toys that we have. We pack them with food and we freeze them so that a couple of times a day and that depends on your schedule or our schedule, we will give the puppy the bone and keep them busy in there. We can, we can give a puppy a bully stick, give them something to do in the X-Pen. But most importantly, do not let your puppy climb out. Now there are different size X-Pens. There's little ones, medium ones, and there's some that are about this tall. Little puppies, most of them, aren't going to climb out of an X-Pen that's that tall. So you have to kind of figure out what size you need. And, and like I said, we have one in our living room. We have one in our basement. We have a finished basement with a TV. We have one down there. Uh, we have the ones on the deck where there's three put together. We have one out by our fire pit, and we've put the X-Pen up out in the grass so we can sit around and have a beer and watch the fire and the puppy can be over here and it's in a safe location and uh, we don't have to watch it all the time but we just make sure they don't climb out. One important thing about uh, X-Pen, a very important thing about X-Pens is that when the puppies are in the X-Pen that is not a time for us or friends or family to interact with the dog when it's in the X-Pen. In other words, we don't let people walk up, reach over the X-Pen and pet the puppy. We want the puppy to see us coming and going as a neutral thing. We want the puppy, when friends come, they don't touch our, our puppy. We tell them, don't look at them, don't touch them, don't talk to them, ignore them. The X-Pen is something for the puppy to be in and not interact with us or other people. So the reason for this is we want our puppies to be settled in the, in the X-Pen. We don't want them to anticipate somebody walking up to the X-Pen and reaching over and petting them because when they start to think like that, they're gonna to start to slam against the X-Pen, they're gonna jump up on the X-Pen and that's not the behavior that we wanna see with our puppies in the X-Pen. We wanna see them calm or we wanna see them playing with their own toys.